everybody, this is Laura with McLeod Homestead and I'm coming at you from my greenhouse. Yay, and look at that, the sun is out. Awesome. Today I decided, since it's gorgeous in here, nice and warm, and the sun is shining, I think I can be safe now if I start my tomato seeds in my greenhouse. And I know I won't get to my peppers um, today, and you'll find out why in a minute. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on starting my tomato seeds, and this isn't going to be a little task. So come along, let me show you. So what I've done is I have laid out all the different varieties, and I think I got a little overzealous. But I've got 25 different kinds I'm trying. And I'd like about 10 plants of each. So that would be 250 tomato plants. And I know I'm going to lose some. But I'm going to try. And I'll hopefully have overabundance. And what I, because I want so many tomato plants, I chose to use these grow bags that I bought and using dirt because as you can see I can put many in one container this has 17 in each row times 4 so that's 60 what 64 60 that would be about 68 grow bags in one container so so that's what I'm currently doing. And again, it's beautiful out. Loving the weather. Loving it. Gorgeous today in the 50s. In here, that thermometer says 100. It's in the sun. But on my one over there, it's about 74 degrees. So not too bad. Got the window open. I had the door open, but the wind keeps blowing it, so. But thanks for watching, and have a great day, guys. Keep up gardening, stay safe, stay home as much as possible. And for the ones of you that do have to go out and work, I thank you, and I appreciate you sincerely. Thank you. Toodles. Okay, took most of the day because I had to stop for other chores, but 250 white bags of seeds started, 25 different varieties of tomatoes, and I put two seeds in each. So let's wish them luck. And it was good timing because it's starting to rain. Hey guys, it's me, Laura, coming at you from McLeod Homestead again in my greenhouse. And look at, once again, lots of sun and warm, just beautiful out. I am again in my greenhouse, kind of doing a mixture of things. I'm starting seeds. I'm, today, I did peppers, or tomatoes yesterday. Today, I'm working on peppers. But in between, I'm kind of doing a little mix match of different things. So let me show you. So I have 13 different varieties of peppers that I want to try. And I figured again, I'd do just like my tomatoes. Do 10 a piece on plants, two seeds in each so that would actually end up if they all came and germinated that would be 20 plants but i know that won't happen and while i was going through i found two more tomato seed packets that i haven't yet started any for so i actually have more tomato seeds to start but one other thing i've done is the orange fence that was already taken down that was laying here. I've gotten that all folded up and put away. 
And then I took a bunch of dirt out of all of these. They have nothing growing in them. And got this straightened back out on this side from the chickens. And I plan on doing this side yet. And I'm just kind of doing little odds and ends of stuff outside. I know we're supposed to get freezing nights yet, but... And we still do have some snow over here. But I'd really like to try and get my pea seeds in. I don't know. I might have to wait, look at the weather a little bit more before I decide on that one. Now I did not take and video on me working around. But over here, I did get the peppers all planted. All the seeds are done. So all these right here are seeds. And those two tomatoes, I made two rows in this one and just planted seeds for them. But I went through, organized this again, cut back, took the dead plants out of here because with everything going on, it didn't look like I'd be able to sell plants, so I kind of gave up on them for a little bit. But got rid of one barrel and got it emptied when I watered everything. So that's outside. Opened up some more room. I don't know if these two bean plants will make it. They're the ones that were in the basement. That's my Concord grape I bought. It's doing great. I need to figure out where I'm going to put it in the basement. Or outside. And get that planted. These are just empty containers I was going to use. I've got that one so I can start more seeds. And then when we come out here, that orange fence is down now. I did hang up my wind chimes. Getting a little anxious, can you tell? And I started putting some of my village down there. And then we brought this stalk out. Since those are all strawberries and I have seen no life yet. So we got it out here. When I can find strawberry plants then I will take and put them in there. And now I'm going to start working on this side. This is Laura with McLeod Homestead and thanks for watching everybody. And you know... I got to show you. I love it in here at night. Look at, I got my, these are all solar lights in here. And I got them lined. It's just so peaceful. Love it. All right, guys. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. And thanks. Toodles.